Good morning. Welcome to your Tuesday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is anymore. Tuesday full body workout. We'll get going in the next couple minutes, two or three minutes. Uh, today you're going to need a couple of things. Two tins of beans, if you've got beans. If you've got a weight plate, grab yourself a weight plate. If you've got access to dumbbells or a barbell, grab yourself that as well, okay? If you've not got any of that, don't worry. Two tins of beans or anything that you can lift, two books, something like that, and we'll get going, okay? A couple minutes yet, and we'll get going at 10, all right? Go. Cool. Okay, we'll get going. So we're gonna need a couple bits of kit. Remember, you're gonna need a little weight plate if you've got a weight plate. If you don't, don't worry. If you've got a barbell or if you've got dumbbells, you can grab them too. And if you don't have any of that, go rake in your cupboards. Go see if you can get two tins of beans, two tins of soups, two water bottles. If you don't have any of that either, don't worry, you can still do the movements. We're still moving through the body, okay? Right, let's get warm. Make sure you've got space. You might need a mat as well. A little drink of water or juice to hand it as well. Okay, let's go. Okay, nice mobility warm up to start with. Take your feet beneath your hips. Your knees are soft, your chest is up. Okay, relax your arms. I'm going to start rotations through the neck, okay? Have a little look to the right. Look back to the middle and look to the left. Good, back to the middle, look to the right. Back to the middle, look to the left. Okay, shoulder shrugs. Just shrug your shoulders up and down. We're going to mobilize through the shoulder girdles, okay? Up and down. You're looking to take your arms out, shoulder circles, nice and small circles. Keep your chest up, your core nice and tight. Start to make those circles a little bit bigger. So now we mobilize it into your shoulder joint, a little bit different than your girdle. Okay, forward circles, nice and small. And then start to make them a little bit bigger. 
Nice mobilization right through your top back and your shoulders. Okay, into your wrists. So rotate through your wrists. Mobilize your wrists. We're going to use them today in your push ups, your planks, and things like that. Yeah? Okay, into your chest. Open and close your chest. Now you're giving yourself a nice big hug. Since you're not allowed to hug anybody else these days, hug yourself. Okay, a little rotation work. Side to side. Make sure you're lifting the heel and you rotate your chest. You're gonna warm up through your waist and your obliques. Okay, into your hips, you're gonna lift your knee up and circle round. So try and keep your chest square. The movement comes from your hips. That's gonna help you get a little bit deeper in your squats. Okay, hamstring stretch. Lengthen your leg, opposite arm to opposite leg. Like so, yeah? Okay, take your feet nice and wide, side lunge right, side lunge left. Just nice and easy, keep your chest lifted, push your hips backwards, and just shift your weight from right to left. Okay, good, take your feet a little bit narrower, sink down, lift up to squat. Open your chest again, heels are down, knees are out. Okay, everybody drop down and stop. Hold. Okay, walk into plank. Hands beneath your shoulders. High knees down. Option, knees on the floor. Right foot set wide. Rotate right. Okay, step back to plank. Left foot. Sink through your hips. Open up. You do that again, right foot step in, rotate to the right, opening up your chest, reset to plank, turn again. Okay, back to plank, drop your knees down, take your hands wide up. Now easy push up. Keep your core engaged, your back nice and flat. I'm going to keep going. We're going to do six more. Six. Do five more. Make sure you're bending your elbows lots. Do four more. Three more. How fast are you going? Two more. One more. Good. Okay. Jump up onto your feet. Shake out the legs. Shake out the arms. Start to come into a little jog. So lift your heels up. Okay, heels up. So you're going to start to lift your heart rate up. So your heels coming up towards your bum. If that's too much or if you're getting up flat, you might want to just march on the spot. Okay, step touch. Easy step touch. You can use some arms. Bend your knees. Good. Okay, hamstring curl, warm up the backs of your legs. Don't worry about the music, just move to the beat if you can. Okay, back on the spot, run. Again, lift up the heels, that's going to lift up your heart rate. Good. Remember, if you need it, you can march. Start to pick up your knees. Lift your knees. Okay, easy bounce. Side to side. Sit down. Chest up. Again, that's going to mobilize into your ankles. Warm up your calves. Lower legs. Shuffle. So light on your toes. Chest is up. You shuffle your legs, right? Good. Okay, lateral movement, side to side. Side to side. Yeah? 
we show up at 25. Yeah? Kids, chest stays up, your heart is lifted. Okay, back to the top, easy run. Heels up. Knees up. Side shuffle. Back you go. Back you go. Yes, yeah, side to side. You go your own time, fast or slow. Just push side to side. Right to the side legs. Okay, on the squat shuffle. Arms up. Couple more. Okay, you're gonna finish. And some jacks. You jack. Keep jacking, okay? When you jack, your knees are out. Your heels are down. You can side tap if you want. Keep jacking, okay? 10 more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Last little bit. Okay, you should be warm up. Well done. Grab a little drink if you need. We're going to move into your first round. We've got three rounds today. Lower, upper, and core. Okay, four moves each. So for this one, you're just going to be using body weight. We're going to be working for 30 seconds with a 15 second recovery. Okay, let's go. You'll see the timer down here. Keep an eye on it, but I'll keep you right as well. Move one is a squat with a heel lift. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, squat with heel lift. Sit back, lift up. Knees are out. Your hips go back. Okay, have a look. Back, lift up. Back, lift up. So you want to bend your knees lots. Your knees tracking your second and third toe. So knees are out and chest is up, okay? Eight seconds left. Down, lift up. Okay, rest. Have a look, your next move is a curtsy lunge. You're gonna step next to tall. Step behind, reset. Step behind, reset. Okay, you ready? Three, two, curtsy lunge. Chest up, step behind, step together. Step behind, step together. So from the side, your foot comes across, reset. Across, reset. So again, I'll come a little bit closer. Step behind, down. Here, out, down. Six seconds. This requires a lot of balance and coordination. Okay, rest. Your next move. Right foot down, chest up. It's a knee repeater. Okay, so we're staying with that knee repeater for 30 seconds. You ready? Set. Let's go. So you go fast or you go slow. From the side of look. Long step back. Your chest is up. You're engaging your glutes and your quads. Long step. Okay, you're halfway. Keep going. So that right foot is down, your knee is bent. Long tap, chest proud. Five seconds. You should feel all the heat around this leg now. Well done. Okay, move number four is a squat and a hold. You take your feet wide, you sit down, and we're gonna stay here, all right? In three, in two, let's go. Down and hold. So, a couple checkpoints. Are your knees tracking your second and third toe? Checkpoint number two is your butt in line with your knees. Checkpoint number three is your chest up. And checkpoint number four, are you still smiling? No? Yeah? Good. Five seconds. Okay, Vex, well done. That's your first four moves. We're going to repeat them back to the top. Squat heel lift up next. We're going in five seconds. Have a look. Down. 
your legs. Last one. So as you come on up, lift hips back, lift and squeeze. When you lift your heels up, that's activating your gastrocnemius. That's a good boy, right? That's your calf muscle. So big squeeze. It's also engaging your quads, your hips, your glutes. Come on, keep going. Five seconds. You know the move. You know what to do. You don't need me. Okay, best there. Curtsy lunge again. Have a little look at my feet. You sit behind. Sit down. Stand up. Reset. Step behind. Then you come. Reset. Okay, you ready? Let's go. I'm just going to pop the camera down, have a look at my legs again if you're unsure. So you're pushing that knee out, this foot steps back into the side slightly. On the side. Okay, keep going. See it? Feel it? So that really engages then your side glutes. Okay, rest. That knee with feet are opposite sides, so left leg forward, right foot back, chest up, lock in the core, and it's a continuous knee with feet up. You ready? Let's go. You can use the beat, you can go fast, you can go slow. But I want you to drive that knee up. Yeah? Remember, home workouts are a little bit tougher because you're on your own. But I'm still here. And you have to put in the most effort you can. 10 seconds to go. You'll be starting to feel that heat all the way in your quads. Keep it up. Okay, rest there. Your final move, remember that squat hold. Your feet are wide, your knees are out. Remember them four checkpoints. Remember, take that recovery. Let's go now. Checkpoint one, knees in line with toes. Checkpoint two, box to knee level. Checkpoint three, chest up. And you know checkpoint four, yeah? Stay with me, please. 15 seconds. So all the way through your glutes, don't come up. Don't do it. You've got eight seconds. Stay lifted, stay engaged in the core. Four, three, two, one. Okay, rest. A little drink if you need it. You've got about 45 seconds to recover. And we're gonna move from lower body to upper body, right? Might need a mat for this one. Okay, so we've got press ups up first. Renegade rows, tricep pulses. So you're going to use your plates, your dumbbells, or your beans. And then we've got a rear deltoid fly. I'll talk you through them as we go, okay? So we all know a press up, right? Knees in a box, three quarters, or full. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds. Take your hands wide, wider than shoulders. Core is engaged, high knees down. Let's go. Okay, single press up. So you keep going and I'm talking through the press up. Make sure your hands are wider than your shoulders. Spread your fingertips wide to give a nice solid base to push from. Engage the core and keep your back nice and flat. Knees or toes, you choose your option that's best for you, right? Okay, next, your next move is a plank renegade row. Have a look. Plank position, roll the arm, roll the arm. I need down, ready to go. Let's go. So if it's too much, drop yourself down to the knees. Keep everything nice and square. Your elbow is in, your core is on. Okay, now the second skewer. But in the end of your row, I need you to squeeze your back muscle as you lift your hand off the floor. Yeah, eight seconds to go. Knees or toes, pass or slow. Okay, next up 
if you've got a weight plate, a book, or two tins of beans. You'll be on your knees, you're going to squeeze your glutes, you're going to lift them up. It's a tricep pulse. Okay, you ready? In three, two, one. So your elbows need to be in. Your plates, your beans, your books, whatever it is, is pulsing right at the base. So remember, tricep pulses are here. It's going to work right in the back of your arm. That's your tricep bracket, yeah? Big muscle. Let's do it. Okay, rest. Your next move. Two dumbbells, two plates, two boots, two beams, whatever. Hips back. We fly. Side on looks like this. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Brace your core nice and tight. You fly nice and wide. So when you're doing that fly, try and keep your arms long. You want to squeeze between your shoulder blades, keeping your chest slightly lifted, or your hips back. Just like so, right? Good. So your weights might be a little bit lighter than normal, so I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades more intensely. Yeah, big pinch between the back body. Good job. Back to your press up. Okay, you've got 10 seconds before we go again. Your hands are wide. We're going. Ready? Let's go. So if you want the challenge, come up to the toes. Bend your elbows forward. If you feel like your back is doing this, I want you to drop your knees down. If it's still too intense, you're in that box position. Still bringing your chest between the arms. Yeah? Let's go, let's go. Five seconds left. In three, two, one, rest. Back to that row, have a look. Renegade row. Big squeeze in the back body. Squeeze the back. You ready? In three, in two, in one. Let's go. So you're in that plank position. One arm comes up, squeeze the back, change sides. So that's also going to require core stability. Try not to let your hips rock side to side. I better do something with you, right? Remember, you want your body weight forward. You want your core engaged. You good? Okay, rest. Tricep pulses. Remember, if you've got a plate, use your plate. Onto your knees. Squeeze your glutes. Elbows in. Ready? Let's go. So remember, you're here for 30 seconds. So your weight doesn't need to be heavy because we're maintaining that pulse. Because we're in that bottom half of that range for a prolonged period of time, it's going to build fatigue no matter the weight, right? You can do a few reps of heavy weights, and we can do loads of reps with lighter weights. Still going to get that work in the tricep, still going to be working your muscles, right? Rest. Two plates, two beams, two dumbbells. Hips back, squeeze the back body. You can boil in five, four, three. Two, let's go. So you want your chest to be up or your hips to be back. Remember you're squeezing the back shoulders. We're using your lats, the muscles underneath your armpits. Squeezing between your rear deltoids as well. That's your shoulder blades at the back of the body. Big pinch between there. We've got four, come on, give me a few more reps. Rest. Okay, good job. You have got a recovery for 45 seconds. We've done lower, we've done upper. Let's do some core now, okay? Have a little drink if you need it. Okay. Core round number one, we're going to take it all the way back to the basics. We've got sit ups, we've got plank, we've got a cross draw, and a hover rotation. Okay, I'll talk you through them as we go. 
Which one is your setup? Okay, we're going in 10 seconds. If you want, take your beans with you. Yeah? Let's go. Let's go. So, beans beside your ears, elbows are in. If you're not using the beans, you can come halfway up. Halfway up. You can get your arms, you can slide up your thighs. There's loads of options in your setups. You can come all the way up. I don't mind what option you take as long as you're working hard. Rest. Okay, move two is a plank. Just in like that renegade go, but we're staying completely still. We're going in five seconds. Hands beneath the shoulders, arms long. In two, one, let's go. Okay, that's us for 30 seconds in that plank pose. Nice, big, big reps in your nose and your mouth here. If it's too intense, remember your knees are down, you're still engaging the core of the back. 15 seconds. Nice, long, flat, straight back. Come on, eight seconds, stay in that plank. 30 seconds in a plank is a lot longer than 30 seconds doing anything else, yeah? Rest, good job. We're back down on the floor. We're coming to a cross top. You ready to go? In four seconds. Elbows wide, let's go. Your option if you need it, bend your knees to 90 degrees. See that 90 degree angle here? You rotate, you rotate. And that's still too intense. Get rid of the knees and just do the upper body rotation. Okay, rest. Move four. We're going to cross your arms like so. Come into a hall bar. Rotate right to left. You ready? In three, two, one. So I'll talk to you about your hall bar. Elbows like so. You're rotating and opening your chest. You're on the tips of your toes and you're on the side of your trainers. Okay, so I'm going to need you to rotate not just the upper body, but your legs and your hips also. Turn your toes to face the floor, then turn the toes to face the opposite direction. Okay, two seconds, come on, come on. Rest. Four down, four more, we start at the top. Remember, if you've got a plate, you can use the plate also. You can use your beans, whatever. We're going in three seconds. Okay, everybody's back into your setup. Make sure you are tucking your chin in slightly, you're curling up, rounding the back, engaging the rib as abdominus, your core muscles. Oh my god. Five seconds. Okay, rest. Back to your plank. Remember, 30 seconds in your plank position. Nice and easy, yeah? Okay, we're going in five, four, three, two. Everybody plank and hold. So keep breathing. Feet, make sure the space between your feet. Okay, so you don't want your feet completely together. A little bit of space, nice long back. Try and keep your eye against center to the floor. So just listen to my dreamy voice, yeah? Just listen to my voice. Shouldn't look at me? Nice flat back. Five seconds. Three seconds, come on. Two. Yes, well done. Okay, moving on. Two more minutes, that cross crawl. We come down, and you can think of it pointing your toes. We're going in five seconds. Try and keep your elbows wide. Don't let them come close together. Let's go now, please. So why do we do a cross crawl? A cross crawl engages your oblique muscles. 
That's going to give you a nice V shape into your waist, okay? We don't do that for fun. Well, some people do them for fun. Those people are weird. We do them to get stronger. Okay, rest there. Good job. Last one, your over rotation. Easy peasy, yeah? Four basically active recovery before we go back to your lower body. Four seconds, let's go into the low bar and rotate. Look at my feet. You can see my feet, look at them. Toes, side of your trainers, yeah? Side of your trainers. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. That's not going to allow that rotation. You want to keep the hips lifted as well. Option, knee down. A cage of beans. Okay, come on, four seconds left. Rest. Well done. Okay, a little drink if you need. What time are we? Half past ten already. So we've got three more rounds. Hopefully we can fit them all in. A little drink if you need it, okay? Back to your lower body. Okay, for this one, you can use your weight plates, your dumbbells, your beams, whatever. Okay, weight plates up. Your movement is a lateral squat walk. You ready? Let's work now. So you're going to stay in that squat position. You're going to wrap your weight up with your collarbone. You're going to step wide for three and repeat for three. Remember, you don't need to go fast. Have a look from the sides. Hips back. Five seconds. Come on, stay in through your legs. Feel the burn start to come through your glutes. Rest. Okay, next up. Keep the plates racked. Side lunge right. Side lunge left. Look, you stand wide. You push the knee out, don't come here. Stay up, let's go. So keep your feet facing 12 o'clock at all times. Don't let that toe go out the way. Sink down through your hips, push out through the bent leg. Push the floor away to activate your legs. We got to bump it up. Okay, rest, well done. Next move, what we got? Option one is a squat side tap. Option two, let's go, ready? Let's do 30 seconds here. You're out, you're in. Keep your chest lifted, your knees go out, knees come in. Pump it up, the legs, the heart rate, it's all going up. I'm going to the cliche there, yeah? Love it. Eight seconds. Keep it in. Start to feel all the way through the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your glutes. Rest. You thought I was going to stop and talk to you for that one, but I didn't. It's three pulses. You ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Next time we do four. Four, three, two, one. We do five. Five, four, three, two, one. We do six. You go your own time, remember, but you add on a pulse every time. We're going for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going for eight. Rest. Woo, shake your legs. We're going back to the top. That lateral squat walk in four seconds. Start down. Let's go. So this is not a squat walk. That's a side step, like a crab. You're not a crab. You're a squat walker. So bend your knees lots. Getting that flexion from the hips so they're going back to knee level. 
and you're walking side to side. Literally all it is. See you later. Rest. Side lunges again, side lunges again. Rack it up. If it's too much, fetch the weights or the beams. You can cross over. Ready? Let's work. Again, today, we've not got any cardio. We're working pure strength, predominantly body weight. Okay, so our glutes are on, chest is lifted, locking in the core. 10 seconds. That's a good one. Okay, rest. Okay, you know the mids. We're done. You're here. Or here. Three, two, one. Keep that chest up. Stay with it. Knees out, knees out. The option right here. Hips back. Go around the back. Lift it up. You still going? You're still going. Three, two, one. Rest. Three pulses, four pulses, five pulses. You add on a pulse every round. Ready? Let's go. Three pulses. We're going for four. We're going for five. Feel faster. Let's get six. Let's get seven. Let's get eight. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, let's get nine, go on. Okay, lower body done, red number two. We're going back to upper body. Narrow press ups, front raises, bicep curls, overhead presses, okay? Okay, ready to go? We're going to 10 seconds. Mat on the floor. Hands are narrow. Try set fish up. Have a look. Let's go. So you're trying to set fish up. Your hands are narrow beneath the shoulder line. Your elbows come back and in. Not out in. Option. Bend your elbows back to the ground. So it's like you're folding your arms in two. It's like a foldable chair, yeah? You all know what a foldable chair is. You've had them in the garden all summer. For this is. Okay, rest. Two beams. One plate. Dumbbells. It's a front raise. Chest is up. Arms are up. Arms are long. Ready? Let's go. You got it? Arms to shoulder height. You can do this with just your arms as well. You can grab a barbell. You can do it with a weight plate. You can do it with a child. You can do it with a kettle. What else is heavy? Think of something heavy, grab it and just lift up your straight arms. Plant pots, coffee tables. Rest. Bicep pulses. This one you're going to need two children. Okay. Ready? Chest up. Elbows in. Bicep curls. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. If you're as lucky as me, you might have a barbell. Use your barbell. Keep your elbows in. Lift your chest up. What about pets? Two cats, two dogs, 
really good. Watching it straws now. Come on, eight seconds. Okay, rest there. Have a look at this one. Elbows are in. Chest is not. It's an overhead press. Okay, I'm going to go back a little bit so you can see my arms. Overhead press. You ready? Let's go. Again, I'm relying on you finding something heavy to just lift over your head. Beans, barbell, weight plates, books, couch pillows, anything, just lift up. Seven seconds. Extend your arm nice and straight. Using your anterior deltoids, your shoulder muscles. Okay, rest. Walk it off. Back to the top, try and set push ups. So these are toes, elbows in and down, high gaze down. You ready to go? Let's work. Remember, knees are down and it's too intense. Tricep push ups are probably one of the hardest moves to master. So you want your elbows to be in, you don't want them out. You want your shoulder to be down. And that tricep is this muscle here, down and up. All you do is bend the elbow, but it's really tough to push your body weight away. Rest. Front raises. Whatever it is, find something heavier. Arms are out long, chest is up. You front raise. Let's go. So again, your front raise, your arms are long. You go to to shoulder height only. Yeah? Okay, two more moves, you know it, five set curls, whatever it is, you bring it in close, you roll your shoulders back, you soften your knees, you square your chest, and we go now. That's all about your bicep, you keep going, just going to talk about how we're doing it, yeah? Elbows are in. Chest is lifted, core on. Who would have thought we're back to using beans and all sorts? But you're doing well. We've got to make do with what we've got and we'll get through it, right? Okay, rest, well done. Next up is that overhead press. Anything. Yeah, plates, beans, books, barbell. Feet soft. Let's go. If you feel like you got something heavy, you start to lean back. Bend your knees a little bit more. Absorb that. Okay, let's keep going. Big overhead push-ins. Trying to bring your shoulders down and lift up. You don't want to be hunching up and doing this. Shoulders are relaxed, big extension up and down. Good work. Okay, rest there. Okay, we've got five minutes left. We're going to finish off with four moves in your core. And then a really quick kill down. Okay, four final moves. 30 seconds work, 15 reps. You're gonna need your plates, your dumbbells, whatever for this one, okay? Okay, move one, looks like this. Get your tin of beans, come into a plank. You're gonna roll it side to side. You ready? Let's go, roll your beans. Roll from one side to the other. If you're on a carpet, you're gonna need to roll it a little bit harder. If you've not got beans, you've got weight plate, drag it through. Drag it through. Yeah. Knees and toes. I'm counting on you being creative for this one, okay? 
Wings. Drop the child by the leg. Swing the child through. I'm joking. Don't do that. Okay, next. Next up, Russian twists. Your chest is up. Don't round your back. Heels are down if you need an option. You ready to go? Let's go. You don't even need a weight. You can do your arms. Your heels can be down, your heels can be up. But you get that rotation from waist to waist. So you're getting that movement in the waist and your obliques. Eight seconds left to go, okay? Feeling good? This is your last little bit. No cardio today at all, except from that warm up. Rest. No move. Legs or no legs. Walk is the arm, walk is the leg. You ready to go? 19 degrees in the legs. Extend your arm and leg. If you want more of a challenge, both arms and legs at the same time. How long we got left? Six seconds. Okay, best. Your final move today is flutter kicks. Point your toes, kick your toes nice and long. You can go big, you can go slow and fast. You choose. Okay, shoulders down, lower back down. Let's go. If that's too much, I want you to tap your heels. Tapping the heels is engaging the same muscles in your lower core as you are here. So if you want to bring your shoulders off, you can reach your arms into that kind of skip position. It's a good option too. Okay, we've got five seconds. Rest now. Good, okay, in your own time, come up onto your feet. March it out. Okay, good job. March it out. Roll your shoulders. Really quick pull down. Move the arms, move your legs. Okay, again, arms forwards. Good, see if you're a little bit wider, narrow, wide. Okay, take a little roll on your shoulders, find your balance. One heel to come, knees together, push your hips forward, and feel that stretch your quadriceps. Good job, change sides, left side. If you need to hold on to something for balance, that's cool too. Knees together, push your hips forward, chest is up. Okay, march again. Release the legs, march wide. March narrow. March wide. Take your right foot forward. Lift your toe, slide your hips back to lengthen your hamstring. Bring your weight onto that left leg, shoulders back. Change sides, left leg, heel up, slide the hips back. As you slide the hips back, you're going to feel that stretch right through your hamstring, back of your leg. Okay, let's stretch up your tricep, right arm up, down the back. Depending on your shoulder mobility, you can push from here, or you can reach up. I don't need to do any strain in your neck. Change sides. Okay, let's stretch your pectoral major, your chest muscles. Open up nice and tall. Squeeze in your shoulder blades at the back to open up your chest. Take a big deep breath in. Full body stretch, reaching up nice and tall. 
Take a little over a little bit of a Shake your arms, shake your legs. Take any other stretches that you may need. And have a good rest of your day. That was a full body workout. A little bit different than something I normally do. No CV in there at all. So it was all mainly strength work. So you've done really well. I'm sure you've done really well. I don't know if you've done really well, but I guess you've done really well. Yeah. Any questions, please shout. If not, we'll wait and see what happens next week, but probably most likely the same time demo. But we'll keep you updated. Okay? Make sure you hydrate in. I'll see you soon. Thank you. I hate this bit. You're always like, uh, uh. GDOs.